everyone, Bill here, Outdoor Fabrications, back with you for my second video. Kind of a lazy afternoon, I'm enjoying a nice cold beverage here. Thinking about uh, wishing I had something to set it down on so I don't get watermarks all over my nice clean bar. And Oh wait, I have the perfect thing. It's the Man Cave Coasters. Made of 16 gauge steel and 41 chain. Buried in muriatic acid or soaked in muriatic acid to clean all the grit off. Makes a lovely present. Perfect for setting down things on a bar. Sold exclusively by Outdoor Fabrications. Not only do you get that, but it also comes with a glass with a personalized etching on it. If you don't like the designs we have, you can send in your own. My lovely wife Margaret will make one for you. Package deal, $18.99. I'll sell them all day long. So what am I here today for? Well, today I'm here because a while ago at Harbor Freight, I bought the Chicago Electric Bandsaw. Portable bandsaw, six inch bandsaw. Uh, real good deal, I think I paid like 139, 129, 139, somewhere in there, I don't know what it was, but I've always wanted to make a, uh, well always, since I bought it really, I've been thinking about making a stand for it so it stands up. As you can see, that's pretty much exactly what I've done here. Um, watched a lot of videos about guys who made their own stands and how they made them, how they put them together. Some of these guys put way too much thought in it. I don't know how much time they have on their hands, but it's obviously way too much. Uh, the one guy, for instance, he made a, uh, he drew out a plan, then he made a cardboard mock-up. Then he made a wood mock-up and finally got himself down to the steel portion of the project. How much time he spent on it, I have no idea, but I don't have that much time to do stuff. So anyhow, I laid this out quick. Um, the way it really works, I just brought it in here to show you here in my man cave. A little loud, isn't it? Basically, what I do out in the uh, out in the shop is I put a little Velcro strap around the uh, around the trigger here, and then I have it hooked into a a switch so that I can turn it on and turn it off. But thought maybe you might like to see how I put this together. Um, the next clip show you all how I did it. So I hope you enjoy them, and I'll see you here in a bit just to tell you. Thanks for watching. So this is the basic design that I've come up with. Um, seems to be functional. I should be able to get the get the saw on and off of it without much of a problem. Just a base, the top, a couple legs for it to stand on. And of course I haven't welded anything up yet. We're just, you know, testing it for right now, making sure it's what I want. Uh, the only thing I don't like are these two Where I hooked it to the saw itself the screws stick up out of the top. I was going to countersink them, but uh, this here I Think it needs to be just a little bit thicker So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut another piece out make those holes bigger so you can reach down through it and be done with it um, Give you a shot of it once I weld it up, once I get it all done, and we'll put it to the test. So basically, basically these are all the parts for my uh, the stand I'm going to build for my Harbor Freight portable bandsaw. That's going to be the plate. Those are going to be the legs. You're looking at the bottom plate. I should say that's the upper table. These are going to be your bottom plate, and this is what's going to hold it up. Uh, originally when I did this I tried to my plan was to countersink those holes those holes there fit right here on the on the saw I don't know if you can see it I just have it standing up in a vise right now but they're gonna fit there it's a nice little plate our under plates gonna be here with our legs coming up so like I say originally I wanted to uh, I wanted to countersink those. Don't get me wrong here, I love Harbor Freight, but some things are just, you know, this is a nice little countersink set. I looked at it, it looked like it was tough, looked like it was strong. 
This is now on my never buy at Harbor Freight again list. These are the cheapest damn things. The countersink part here just slides right up the base. Um, if you try to tighten the set screws up, you end up just stripping them. Uh, other than pulling the drill bits out of these, I don't think I'm going to have any use for this. This is their garbage. But anyhow, throw them out. This, like I said, this is going to be our upper deck. These are going to be our four legs. They're simply going to go in the four corners like that to hold the upper deck up. Yeah, I haven't cleaned any of this stuff up yet, but pretty much that's what these four are going to do. Uh, I haven't measured it up. I did a quick mock-up, and it was all right. This right here is going to fit back that way. And the back where the base of the saw, the handle, right there will fit on top of that. So I'm going to measure some things up, get some stuff going, and uh, weld it up. I'd like to get it painted today and see what it does. Um, this was this piece here actually came on the saw. It's the fence piece. Um, it fit on there. It was adjustable, slidable, and basically I just used this to uh, tell me where my holes were. I marked the holes on it, set it here, and drilled the hole, set it right here, <laughs> and drilled the holes. So I'm going to put this together, do a little bit of welding, and uh, get back with you. Thanks. Okay, for the most part, that's what we're going to look like. Uh, it's pretty square, it's pretty straight. We're going to weld that up, and after I'm done, I'll get back with you. Try to mount the saw, put the stand for the saw to sit on. See what we can do. Well, there it is that's the finished product uh, I got some paint on it last night kind of ran out of paint didn't quite have enough I was gonna go get some more but it was getting a little late and my bar was calling me so not a chance I had to go enjoy a few a few cold beverages but that's the slot where the uh, where the blade goes in I double plated I double plated that uh, like I say that was more or less just so I get the uh, bolts to be countersunk um, what I did was I cut that with the uh, with the bandsaw blade it was a little tight so I just ran a uh, I just ran a uh, 
you know, cut a wheel through it. Now, it's not perfect. No, it's not. But you know what? I'm not selling it, and I didn't want to put an awful lot of time into it. So I just put it together quick. I think total time I had involved with this was, uh, uh, I think I had about two and a half, maybe three hours in the whole thing. So let's hook the uh, let's hook the bandsaw up to it, and we'll uh, give it a shot. See if it works. pretty stable uh, hooks up pretty simply unfortunately my switch here has dirt in it or something it's not quite working uh, I'm probably just gonna put a little piece of velcro around here maybe a clamp to hold the on off switch on and uh, probably hook up uh, got some electrical stuff over here maybe I'll just hook up a regular box with a regular Try cutting a little bit of steel with it, we'll see what happens.
good cut. Probably should have let the paint uh, dry another day or two, but uh, that's not bad. I just used a, you know, XO rust or whatever it is. Uh, I like it. I'm going to keep it. If you like what you've seen, uh, you can let me know. I can give you direct, I can give you uh, dimensions. Uh, whatever you want on it, but I think that's a pretty good stand right there. I'm pretty happy with the outcome If you like what you've seen here go ahead and subscribe Give me likes give me comments give me anything you want Thank you So there you have it that's the portable bandsaw stand build I know this video is a little long. I'm sorry about that. I'm just starting. Uh, I'm going to learn as I go. I'm trying to make them a little shorter for you. I didn't think it was bad. My lovely wife said it's way too long. I don't know. What are you going to do? Uh, once again, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't. I've got a lot of use out of the saw itself. Before it was on the stand, now that it has a stand on it, it should be much better. I also have to apologize for my editing skills. Uh, some of the stuff may be slightly out of, uh, <laughs> out of order. But I did what I could to spare you the, uh, you know, the ass crack scenes. I took all those out. I didn't, I, it, let's not go there. Anyhow, I hope you like this. Um, if you'd like to build one for yourself, just, you know, I can give you dimensions. I can give you whatever you want. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of things here in the future. My next uh, video is this little guy right here. This is a uh, little desk organizer. It's probably going to be the next... Uh, Next project we get into, um, kind of a handy thing. I like things made out of steel. And I'll tell you all about that on the next one. So until then, I hope you all have some cool beverages. And don't forget, at $18.99, I'm telling you, it's a deal. It is a deal. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a like if you would. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave me a note. I'll get right back to you. Um, uh, thanks. Bye.